In this example, we're going to write and solve a system of equations for this given situation. So a boat makes a trip downstream and then back upstream. Okay? So the boat is traveling at 17 kilometers per hour downstream, but only 9 kilometers per hour upstream. So find the speed of the boat in still water and then the speed of the current. Okay, so let's go ahead and define our variables and then we'll describe the situation we have here. So find the speed of the boat and then the speed of the current. So I'm going to say B equals the speed of the boat. And that looks like it's going to be measured in kilometers per hour, so I can say kph for kilometers per hour. And then C is going to be the speed of the current. And again, that's going to be measured in kilometers per hour. Okay, so here's our variable definitions. So I know that ultimately I'm going to be uh, determining values for B and C. Okay, so if a boat is traveling downstream versus upstream, why do we have the difference in speeds? Well, when a boat travels downstream, the current is working its way downstream. So what's happening is that the boat is going at some speed, and the current is also pushing it along. So we can say that the boat and the current are working together to make the boat go even faster. So we can add those two together. So we're going to say the speed of the boat plus the speed of the current, because he's going downstream, equals 17 kilometers per hour. Okay? but only 9 kilometers per hour upstream. So when you're going upstream, the boat is being fought by the current, or the boat has to fight the current, right? Because they're going in opposite directions. So whatever the speed of the boat is, we have to subtract the current, and that's going to give us 9 kilometers per hour. So now that I have this system of equations, I need to solve it for values for B and C. And it looks like if I just add these two equations up the way they are, my plus C and my minus C are going to cancel each other out. So I'll have 2B equals 26. So when I divide both by 2, B looks like it's going to equal 13. Now that I have the value for one of the variables, I can go ahead and plug it in here. So I know that B plus C equals 17. And B was 13. So when I go through and subtract 13 from both sides, it looks like C is going to be 4. Okay? So now, my variable definition said the speed of the boat was B and the speed of the current was C. So I'm going to go ahead and write my sentence because I have values now for both B and C. So I'm going to say the speed of the boat is 13 kilometers per hour, and I'll just say kph, and the speed of the current is 4 kilometers per hour. So here is kind of our sentence that wraps up what's going on with our system, given the values for B and C, 13 and 4, respectively.